Welcome friends, let's find the domain of say f of x y is equal here to ln of x squared plus y squared minus 4. So first because we have the ln function, we have to say x squared plus y squared and then minus the 4, this has to be strictly greater than 0, which means x squared plus y squared has to be strictly greater than positive 4. Remember the 4 is really 2 squared, in other words, this 2 in the base tells us we have a circle of radius 2. Let's express this in set bullet notation. So big curly brace, of course, and then x comma y to indicate you're talking about points, colon, or a vertical line, such that. And then a logical condition. So we'll say here, just x squared plus y squared. You can just say is greater than 4. They can say d across. Let's quickly do a visual representation. So draw a graph. And then within there, draw a circle. Now remember, the circle here is radius 2. So here's our circle, and the points along the boundary are not part of the domain. Remember, our inequality is greater than 4, or greater than 2 squared, if you like. So for that reason, take this circle and just dash it this way, and that indicates the boundary is not included. It has to be greater than 4. So basically, that refers to points outside the circles, like this. Look, see I'm shading outside the circle just to kind of indicate it this way, and that would be a visual representation of the domain. What you can always do is just remember, if you try with a specific point like 0, 0, then plug it into the inequalities. You're going to have 0 squared plus 0 squared minus 4. You're asking, is this greater than 0? But that just tells you that negative 4 is greater than 0, which clearly is false. So the shading is correct. It's everything outside the circle. You see the like.